On Thursday, in a dev question video, I answered the question, what is a full stack developer and what do they do? Yesterday, I showed you how to become a full stack developer with C Sharp. Today, it's time to challenge your skills in full stack development with C Sharp. Whether you've been using C Sharp for a long time or just started working with it, this challenge should teach you something about where your skills are at and what you still need to work on. So let's jump right into the challenge. This challenge is to build an employee directory with both a web and desktop user interface. So you have two different user interfaces to build with. And you may say, well, Tim, I just want to be a web, you know, full stack web. Part of being a full stack developer is usually you end up with more than one user interface to work with. And so I'm going to push you to make sure that you can do two different types of user interface and pull off the same thing in two different places. And to kind of add to that complication, I want you to use an API to process all the data. I don't want you to create just code behind for your desktop UI and then copy that code behind or copy the class library and use the web app. I want you to create an API to process all of your data instead. All right, so one API, the web talks to the API, the desktop talks to the API and gets all the data store the data in a database. Now, you don't have to do any writing to the database if you don't want, and I think that probably it makes sense not to. It makes sense that you have data in the database that you display on both the web and desktop UI. We're not gonna get into things like authentication necessarily. Now, if you want to, go for it. Definitely go, go for it. But I think to keep this in a, a manageable size, we're trying to keep it as small and, and focused as possible. We just want to create an employee directory that maybe you would expose to the public and say, hey, if you want to find out who's employed here, where they work, uh, what their title is, then you can look them up using this tool. And this tool can be a desktop user interface or it can be a web user interface. Maybe you're going to put it on their website, but also have a kiosk in the lobby that's a desktop UI, something like that. So it's up to you how you design these, how you make them look. Are they going to look similar or are they going to look different based upon the, the medium, web or desktop? Uh, it's up to you. But I want you to make sure that you have all the pieces in place and kind of bring in both the, the nicer look and then not just, you know, stock look of your user interface, but also have kind of that depth of protecting your data and making sure that you set your, your processes up right and you have... Uh, you know, good structure to your application as well. So it's all kind of on you to do this whole process well from start to finish. All right, so tackle this project. And again, wait to look at my solution video, which comes out Friday. Wait to look at that until after you have built all this out. Because I want to make sure that you learn the skills you need and also practice to see where your weak spots are because just watching things you may think you have a, a strength somewhere when you actually go and do it yourself you figure out ooh, that's actually not as easy as i thought or i'm missing something and so figuring out what those weak spots are will really help you as a developer because it will point out here's the areas to fill in some gaps and here's what i need to get better at and maybe even just watching my video will help but I think that more importantly, it'll give you a, an area that you need to focus even more training time on to so you can build up that area and really uh, strengthen your overall skill level. All right, so it's time to get started building this application.